Okay, hi, this is the IFC Architect, and today we're just going to go over how to install and manage the Blender BIM add-on. Um, so very simply, we're just going to go into how to install it, uh, whether to download the stable or the latest, um, how to place it in a custom location folder, and how to uh, activate the add-on. So to begin with, you've got your Blender. I'm not gonna explain how to install and download Blender, what version or how to manage that. That's gonna be for a different video. Um, but in this one, we're just gonna go over the Blender BIM add-on, how to install it. Um, so we're gonna start by going to the website. We're gonna go here to blenderbim.org. Um, this is where the thing is hosted, the add-on. And on the front page, you have this thing called download the Blender BIM add-on. And this is the latest stable release, which you can see is quite old now, <laughs> 0516. Um, it is currently alpha, like even pre-alpha, I'd say, <laughs> but it's amazing. And in this case, uh, you could say, whatever, let me use it anyway. And it'll take you to the downloads page. Um, and then you can just choose which version you want to download for. And then just check all the uh, requirements and make sure that you're installing for the right version. Um, if you want to donate, here you can donate, but yeah. Um, so you could say download for Windows and it will start downloading. Um, but this version is really old and it's not the one I'd recommend. So just for this video, the latest version that I am comfortable with, um, I go back to the, we just, just go back to the homepage. And over here, we're going to say view all changes, which will take us to the GitHub page where it's hosted. And you can see there's a lot of updates. It is really well updated. And we're just going to go here and we're going to type in releases. So this gives us the latest release page. We're not going to use this one because it's also a bit unstable, some broken elements right now. Um, and don't worry about all the links. I will have all these links uh, in, the in the description below. So the latest stable version that I'm quite comfortable using was, uh, here we go, yeah, this one. Blender BIM 22, 10, 14. So here we just open up assets and you can see there's different versions. So if you're using 3.3, um, the latest long-term release Blender, uh, and you have Windows, then this is the Pi 3.10 version. So just click that and it will download it. And you shouldn't unzip these folders. This is how an add-on is. Um, and then you just navigate to your downloads tab. Once it is downloaded, check that out. And then just take that uh, version and just place it into um, a place where you've saved your add-on. So you see, I've already got it here, um, but this is what we're gonna do. I've, I test every single add-on every day, but yeah. So you just paste it into the location. I'm just gonna replace it for now. And you open your Blender. And then from here, you just go to edit, preferences, go to add-ons. We want to go to install. We're going to navigate to where it is saved. Um, I've got it bookmarked here. And then we're just going to select the correct version and we're going to say install add-on, right? So uh, I have it installed currently, <laughs> so uh, it's already there. And we're just going to type in BIM, that should show up. And then you just need to tick this box to activate it. Okay. And then there's lots of different options and stuff here. We don't have to touch any of that. You can just close it and press X. And that's basically how to install the Blender BIM add-on. And then just to check it works, we're just gonna say create project here. So in the uh, scene properties tab, IFC project, IFC four, and all of these details, we're gonna say create project. You can see it's loaded here nicely. We're gonna tab open the tool and the BIM tool. And we're just gonna create a nice wall, shift A and Shift E and it looks like it's working perfectly. Okay, cool. So let's say you want to update this to the newer version um, because it changes all the time and I will be providing updates for the different changes. Just check it out. Um, in this case, what you need to do is you need to go to edit preferences and you just need to uncheck this uh, Blender BIM just for this one. And then you need to close Blender. Uh, you don't have to save that. And we're going to launch it again. And then you need to go back here. And then on the from the restart, you can remove it. And you say, okay. And then from here, we can go install and we can go back to add-ons and we can say, oh, what if we want uh, the latest one? So we can select it. 
and then we can just activate it. And just takes a little while. But yeah, all good. All good. Same story. Looks like it is working. So we just go wall type and shift A. And there's the wall and it's working. Okay, cool. So that's that's it. That's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll have a written description in the description and also links to where you need to find all these things. Okay, fantastic. If you want to know other add-ons for architecture um, that are very helpful for Blender BIM and Blender, um, there's another video for that will be coming. Okay, fantastic. Uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OS Arc community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell, and the community that we're involved in is the OS Arc community. I will provide links in the description, and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.